What's going on, everybody? I'm Tank, and this is another episode of Roadie Reactions. In today's reaction video, I'm going to be checking out a band for the very first time who I somehow have not listened to before in my life. And from what I understand, this band is massive, absolutely huge. I know I've heard the name Nirvana before. I don't know if they just skipped my radar or what happened, but I've never listened to any of their music. And I was telling some friends that recently and they just could not believe me. They're like, dude, where the f have you been? You have to listen to Nirvana. They are legends. So I'm gonna check it out and hopefully I find a new band that I can get into. And instead of going with a music video, I found a live performance that I'm gonna check out cause you guys know that I like the live stuff. Maybe we'll get some cool gear talk too. So I will link this original video in the description below. And today, for the very first time ever, I'm listening to Nirvana and hearing a live performance of their song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Let's go. Guitar player is a lefty. Alright, uh, before what I'm gonna guess is that chorus. So this seems like I don't know, like Pacific Northwest Seattle grunge, like early 90s to date on the videos 91. So I never really got into that scene, but I kind of dig this, man. This is really cool. Um, standout-ish stuff for me so far. Uh, guitar player is a lefty. You don't see a lot of lefties much, let alone playing left-handed model guitars. A lot of people flip them because lefties are harder to find. But he is playing a Fender Stratocaster. Um, can't tell if it's a custom. There's a lot of like stickers and stuff all over it and stuff like that. Um, the other thing too that I really like is that bass tone is really punching through, but there's nothing too standout-ish or crazy about it. There's not really a lot of drive on it. It really just sounds almost like a standard plug in and go like almost punky bass tone, but it's cool. Um, I'm digging this so far, man. Let's, uh, let's hear this chorus. interesting change going from that really that really upbeat well not upbeat but really high energy chorus back down to that verse cool man i dig the like grungy punk vibe of this there's people on stage just screwing around the crowd's going crazy i like it a lot um i'm having a hard time seeing what kind of amps and stuff they're using in the background i mean it straight up looks like a garage band like the way that their amps are stacked and the gear and stuff like that. Um, man, I like, I know this band is huge. And the grunge scene was known for, you know, it was basically garage bands that were good and made it. So I don't know, man. Um, 
I mean, this isn't anything like super crazy that I haven't heard before, but I like it. Uh, let's continue. Starting to really like that bass tone now. Hold on. Their drummer kind of looks like Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. A little bit. Solo, okay. Well, before we do that, um, the bass player is playing a pretty neat guitar. Uh, it's a Gibson RD, which they only made those originally, I believe, in the early 80s or late 70s, something like that. And then there was reissues in the 2000s. But considering this is 91, uh, the bass he's playing is probably an original, like 1980 or somewhere around that point. Can't really tell what amps he's playing for bass. Like I said, it's kind of hard with the way that this video is set up to see what they're playing. Um, you know, back then, my guesses would be either Ampeg or Galleon Kruger or maybe Laney or something like that, which a lot of people used back then. But I did not expect a guitar solo in this, and that's what it sounded like we we're going to get. So let's hear it. <laughs> Nice feel to it, nothing over the top. All right, I'm digging it. I dig it. Let's go talk more about it. So I honestly have no idea how I was able to keep that together for that reaction. I imagine a lot of people rage quit on this one and gave it a lot of thumbs downs. But if you're still here and still watching this, yeah, you guessed it. I've listened to Nirvana before. I love Nirvana. It's April 1st, April Fool's. 
I also did this just to prove the point that don't believe everything you see from YouTube and on the internet. A lot of people are full of shit when they're saying that they're hearing stuff for the first time. If you don't believe it, it's probably not true. So that's just my opinion. Sorry if I piss anybody off, but that was fun trying to keep a straight face through that. Um, don't leave me any Nirvana reaction request because I've already heard all there is to hear. So um, thank you guys for watching. I don't even think I need to do my normal spiel about subscribing and liking and stuff like that because this probably pissed a load of people off before they even got this far in the video or watched it. I'm hoping that I set a dislike record here, but we'll find out. But at the end of this, if you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to click like. Actually, you know what? Don't click like. Click dislike on this motherfucker. Everybody, just click dislike all the way around. But I'm also on Discord, Twitch, a bunch of other social media. I'll put links to that below. My handle on everything social media related is at Tank the Tech. Thank you once again for watching. I will be back very soon with another episode of Roadie Reactions.